Healing arts, like martial arts, require a powerful core, which is easily developed and sustained with belly breathing and horse stance. Feet just over shoulder width apart and knees spiraled out so they're over the ankles with tailbone tucked in in a feeling of sitting without sitting. With regular belly breath, belly naturally expands on the inhale and flattens on the exhale. Bring the left palm face down in front of the belly. Gripping with the other hand just below the wrist, raise the hand up the body's midline at least three times, inhaling as the hand moves up and exhaling as it moves down. And repeat with a fist. While effortlessly maintaining belly breath and horse stance, the same sequence is repeated on the other side. From this hand position, called Ikkyo, or first control in Aikido, point the fingers outward, palm facing to the side. Gripping just below the wrist, Move the hand towards the body at least three times, inhaling as the hand moves in and exhaling as it moves out. Repeat with the fist and again on the other side. From this hand position, Nikyo, or second control in Aikido, Rotate the fingers 270 degrees so they point upward. Grip and lower the hand down the body's midline at least three times, inhaling as the hand moves down and exhaling as it moves up, and repeat with a fist. Four fingers grip the pad of the hand while the thumb presses against the ring finger knuckle to generate a torque as the hand moves down. In Aikido, this hand position is appropriately called kodagayashi, or wrist turn. For the self-application of Sankyo, third control in Aikido, place the palm of one hand against the back of the other. Spiral the bottom hand outward, applying isometric resistance which should be felt primarily in the wrist. After at least three repetitions in sync with the breath, simply press backwards on the fingers and then begin to shake the hands, palms facing each other to isolate the wrists. Then face the palms towards the body, and when any tension in the hands and wrists has been sufficiently released to the pull of gravity, allow the shaking to spread to the entire body. Maintaining effortless belly breathing and horse stance. Inner smile to any tension head to toe. And shake it off to the pull of gravity all the way down to the center of the earth where it can be safely transformed. To help release tension in the spine, shake the hands in front of the body and twist left and right so that the weight of the arms creates torque and openness in the spine. Once the spine is relaxed, continue to shake gently and twist as far to each side as possible with the shoulders, head, and even the eyes, and hold. Continuing to shake gently, lean to the four directions. With a deep belly breath, lean to the left. With a deep belly breath, lean to the right. Exhale forward, releasing any tension down to the earth. Deep belly breath, leaning backwards, drawing fresh energy up from the earth into the low back and kidneys. 
Exhale and relax. To conclude shaking, cover and collect the energy in the lower cauldron behind the navel into a chi pearl. Shake up and down, feeling the energy on the top and bottom of the body equal and balanced in the nucleus of the pearl. Shake left and right, feeling the energy on the left and right sides of the body and brain equal and balanced in the bright nucleus of the pearl at the anatomic center of your effortlessly breathing belly. Spinal cord breathing is powerful medicine for therapists or anyone that has to lean over a table, desk, or computer. From horse stance, bring the fists alongside the body with the tailbone and neck tucked in. Inhale, raising the arms up into a gentle muscle flexing isometric while slowly arching the tailbone outward. Exhale, lowering the arms and tucking in the tailbone and neck again. Adding extra bend to the knees on the inhale allows the spine to arch further while Mula Bandha a gentle contraction of the buttocks applied on the exhale creates a powerful crunch type isometric on the core. The head pressing back on the spine generates pressure on the base of the brain, which regulates all the autonomic nervous system functions. If that's too much motion for the neck, just keep the head level on the inhale and gently tuck in the chin on the exhale. The main points on the hands that emit healing energy, sometimes called hand chakras, are the eighth points on the pericardium meridian, which are easily found by curling the middle finger to the palm center. Pressing this point helps relax and sensitize the hands to direct chi. With its great alchemical ability to transform disease and death into fresh energy, the earth is a powerful ally to any healer and any body willing to relax tension to the pull of gravity. Face the palms downward until the stable, grounded quality of the earth's energy can be felt. Then initiate palm soul breathing. Simple awareness of breathing earth energy through the pericardium eight points in the hands and the kidney one points in the feet the most grounded point on the entire body according to Chinese medicine. Inhale fresh energy from the center of the earth to the center of the chi pearl in the lower cauldron. Exhale any tension from the center of the pearl to the center of the earth. This can be combined with any or all of the six healing sounds to release specific elemental or emotional imbalances. After nine or more repetitions, Condense the energy into the chi pearl. There are many self-care techniques from a sitting position, like placing the arm on the lap and using the elbow to rhythmically acupress the vital points on the hand, like pericardium eight and heart eight, where a curled pinky finger touches the palm and the entire pad of the thumb, which can get tight on anyone doing manual labor. Once the hand has been sufficiently relaxed, include the wrist and forearm. Tension in the hands can also be largely due to tight muscles, tendons, and ligaments in the arm, which this helps to alleviate. The broad part of the forearm can also be utilized as an acupressure tool if the elbow is too sharp or just for variety. The top of the fingers, hand, wrist, and forearm can also be included.
Obviously, we want to repeat this procedure on both sides. What will be helpful in the application of any type of bodywork on oneself and others is extending power from the chi pearl in the center of your effortlessly breathing belly. In that process, any physical, emotional, or mental tension that arises from your body and or the body of others we work upon, simply relax it to the pull of gravity all the way down to the center of the earth where it can be safely transformed. Another way to administer self-body work to the hands and forearms is with the knees. With the arm on the ground, use the same rhythmic acupressure with the knees and shin blades of either leg to press and hold each vital point and any place that feels tight. By virtue of getting the entire body behind the pressure, this method very much emphasizes the weight-bearing element of acupressure. Each point being briefly held in this fashion allows for much greater depth of pressure and overall healing in general than just gliding over it quickly with oil. Considering the hands are one of our primary functional and creative connections to the external world, and the part of the brain associated with the hands is the size of both hands, and the heart and all the fire meridians connect to the hands, which is why the hands are considered the energetic extensions of the heart. It is easy to see how anybody, not just therapists, can benefit from this type of self-care. Another most effective way to build flexibility and strength in all structures of the hands and wrists is to fish them through crossed legs and sit on them, palms downward facing. Use the weight of the body to immobilize them and gently lean backwards, which creates deep weight-bearing pressure on the wrists as well as the elbows where they press against the body. To specifically isolate the fingers, simply rotate the hands forward so the shin touching the ground exerts pressure on top of the middle knuckles of the fingers. Lean forward until the fingers bend backwards to a comfortable level and hold. Breathe deeply into the stretch, exhaling any tension in the hands to the pull of gravity all the way down to the center of the earth where it can be safely transformed. Return awareness to the nucleus of the pearl at the center of your effortlessly breathing belly and into that radiant still point. Collect your energy and relax. Relax.